And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for June 16th. No storms are active today, but there are a few areas of interest, which is why we've entered code blue, which is our second lowest uh, standby code generally. On June 16th, day 168 of the year so far, we're up to 29 storms. The reason why we've gone up that level is because of that 10% area off the coast of the Carolinas, marked by the National Hurricane Center as well. We've also marked another one there in the main development region for potential development in the next five days. Day 33 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, and we've also got two areas there. The National Hurricane Center gives 20% in five days on the one on the right. No invest names have been designated yet. Uh, we've got rid of the 20% chance near the Philippines, so no systems active, and we're not looking at anything in the Western Pacific right now. Same too for the Southern Hemisphere, even though Mateo France briefly had a yellow marker for an area in the southwest Indian Ocean, believe it or not, earlier today. So this is the North Atlantic right now. Um, you can see both of those areas of interest. The more immediate one is the one off the coast of the US there. Some slight rotation going on. Um, if th that thing does develop, it will be a landfall in North Carolina in the next 48 hours. The other area of interest is the one on the far right hand side there. That's some part of that is the remnants of 92A, believe it or not, that we covered a few weeks ago. Um, on the other side of the world almost, um, over the Arabian Peninsula. The Eastern Pacific looks like this, those two 10% areas, but that's looking forward in time. There's nothing actually on the map right now um, that will develop into one of these systems that may well form. We're looking five days into the future, really. Um, there's nothing out there that we're already got down and established. In the Western Pacific, things looking pretty quiet. Um, you can again see that convection there, two thunderstorm shoots by the looks of things there, passing to the north of Palau. That would have been uh, the 20% circle, uh, but that has now been removed. Some convection blowing up near Hainan as well in those latest frames. The South Pacific looking fairly quiet again. You've got the general tropical activity near the equator, but uh, Really rather quiet over most of those islands, the Solomons getting the most of it. And in the Indian Ocean, um, the monsoon continues across India right now. A lot of rainfall, particularly further east, um, and also over the Arabian Sea as well. Those will be cooling down those sea surface temperatures. So in the Eastern Pacific, you can see more breaks in that 26 degree, 28 degree isotherm, sorry, in the Eastern Pacific because of the La Nina event. In the Atlantic, um, water's recovering in the Gulf of Mexico and water's still getting warmer out at sea. Um, warmer than usual, generally, in the Atlantic. The North Indian Ocean cooling down now um, under all of that cloud cover. And in the Western Pacific, um, still a bit disrupted off the coast of southern China. Um, and the Philippine Sea cooling down just a little bit as well, but still staying very warm across the board there and you'll see on the anomalies these are how warm they are compared to average the reds being warmer the blues being colder and you can see the la nina there continues to gather pace by the looks of things i would imagine um, i don't know if my eyes are fooling me but it looks like it's getting stronger on this day on june 16th 2004 only one system was active but it was category 5 dianmu and we gave it 180 miles per hour at peak and sub 900 millibars as well. Look at it there with the pinhole eye. That was Typhoon Nyamu, Category 5, and it was to the west of the uh, Northern Mariana Islands at this point. Um, also on this day, uh, Typhoon Guchol was peaking in 2012 as a Category 4 with winds of 145 miles per hour. A blank screen and so here we are on june 16th the next name on the atlantic naming list is dolly in the eastern pacific it's boris followed by christina in the central pacific the next names on list one are hone followed by iona in this in the uh, western pacific going one step ahead there sinlaku is next on list three followed by Hagapit, and in the north indian ocean we're followed by gatti and nivar on list one that brand new list after Nisaga was the first one to make its mark. 
In the Southern Hemisphere, Imogen, followed by Joshua for the Australian region. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, Kundai, if it forms in the next two weeks. And in Fiji, the Fiji region, the South Pacific, Yolanda is the next name on the list. That's all for now. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.